you guys, is this easy compared to other ones? Uh, absolutely not. I think it's easy in components, but the layering of flavors is the hard part because there's a lot of stuff going on. Wow, that's like very complimentary to Chipotle. <laughs> So I'm taking firm tofu. It's been pressing, so get, you get all that moisture out so it doesn't become super watery. And then I'm just gonna pulse it in the food processor just to get the, the meat-esque texture. For the sofritas, the way I'm nailing this spicy, like chipotle adobo sauce is making everything from scratch, everything from fire roasting the poblano peppers, toasting all my spices before I grind them and then add them to the sauce. I'm gonna let them like marinate the tofu. I'm doing jasmine rice, and I'm gonna finish it with a little bit of chopped cilantro. Basically, you have to nail all the components in order for it to be the full, complete dish. Justin, uh, what's the thing you're trying to nail in this dish? It's really, I think that's, that's sofritas. The sofritas, it is tofu that literally tastes like ground pork. It's tofu sliced thin, seared hard on each end, and then hand chopped. I do know that they sear their tofu a little bit first. It gets that little crunchy. And then I'm going to mix it with some onions, uh, po roasted poblano pepper, some chipotle and adobo. I'm making my sauce for this sofritas. Finding out that smokiness, that spiciness, a little bit of acidity is absolutely huge. Chipotle peppers in adobe sauce? Yep. Still here, gonna try it? Kind of. So you this like is delicious! Isn't it? This is exactly the thing I like. <coughs> I do need some water. <laughs> <laughs> it's spicy. There's so many components of this dish. We've got pinto beans, we've got rice with cilantro, sofritas, cheese, and guacamole. We're gonna make some uh, guacamole together. I'm gonna learn that too, I love it. Hell yeah! <laughs> the best part about guacamole is you just need a little lime juice and salt. A little technique, uh, it's called rolling your limes. This gets you a lot more juice out of them. Can I do this with grapefruit and oranges too? Yes, yes. Because I like All to make fresh squeezed grapefruit juice sometimes for my kids. Great, look at this, we got a lot of juice. Yeah, one thing that drives me crazy about guacamole is when there's not enough lime or salt. Are you feeding me? Okay. What do you think, more lime? No. Good, right? Salt, it's acid. It's really good. You're supposed to drink tequila with this. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go get you guys some. You're the best, Natasha, you know that? Oh, thank you. It's time for a shot of elegance with Natasha Legero. Elegance is what we strive for. I used to cocktail waitress. Another little trick I'll teach you. You put them on. Here they go. Hi, I'm sorry. Can you just wait one second, please? I can't talk to you right now. Please don't touch my ass. OK, thank you. And then what you do is you just never look at it, and then it'll never drop. Who's ready for a shot of tequila? Cheers. 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 Welcome. Cheers. Glad to have you. This has been a shot of elegance. <laughs> wow. Not only are we copycatting a burrito, we also have to nail these chips. Justin has the upper hand tonight. His first job in the kitchen arena was at Chipotle. So if he doesn't win this, he kind of sucks. We're going to deep fry him. Yep. So when you do it, you always want to push away from you. Ah! Ah, okay, I a little, all... a little. <laughs> Take a basket, put it on top so it submerges all the chips. So they have an even cook. And why do we do this noise? So you want to move the chips around. You want to ah. agitate them, right? This is Jeremy's favorite thing, and he likes to make a lot of noise on the fryer. So. <laughs> there you go. It's fine, honey. I'm just making <laughs> chips. <laughs> then the lime. So if they're soggy, just, oh, remember, just remember who did it. OK, OK, okay. OK. Can I cook. taste one? Yeah. Pretty perfect. <laughs> We're like not even halfway through the show and I already know how to make homemade chips, guacamole. Amazing. Yeah. What if I really have talent in the kitchen I never knew? I think you do. I don't have the interest though, so. 